Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing how to calculate square of a number from 1 to 1000. Yes, from 1 to 1000. Actually, many of the guys feel difficult to calculate square of a number. But truly speaking, calculating square of a number is really simple once you know squares from 1 to 9. Now, I will be teaching you how to square numbers from 1 to 1000. Now, to do this, I will be dividing them into two different categories. That is like one is from 1 to 100 and the next one you can apply from 1 to 1000 as well. Now, let us look at some particular examples how to solve them. Let us calculate 34 square. 34 square. Just follow the procedure whatever I am going to say and listen carefully so that you will be calculating it easily. Okay, it's just simple. 3 square, you know 3 square. 3 square is like 9, but you are not supposed to write 9, you are supposed to write it as 0, 9. Why? Because always we are supposed to write 2, 2 digits at a time. Okay, now if it is like 2 square 4, you will write it as 0, 4. Okay, always you are supposed to write 2, 2 digits. As 3 square is 9, you will be writing it as 0, 9. Okay, next. 4 square, 4 square will be 16. So, write beside that 16. Next, simple 3 multiplied with 4, 3 into 4, 12. 12 multiplied with 2, 12 into 2, 24. Leave the units place and write 24. So, write 24. Now, add the numbers. This will be 6, 1 plus 4, 5, 9 plus 2, 11. 1 carry and this will be 1. Now, this will be 1 plus 0, 1, which means 1, 1, 5, 6. Okay, as simple as that. Let us look at one more example. Let us example 72 square. Okay, simple. 7 square. What is 7 square? 49. Write 49. 49 2 square what is 2 square 4 but you are supposed to write 0 4 why because 2 2 digits so write it as 0 4 next multiply 7 into 2 14 14 into 2 28 leave units place and write 28 28 okay now add the numbers this is 4 8 plus 0 this is 8 9 plus 2 11 you are supposed to write only one digit 1 and 1 carry 1 plus 4 this will be 5 it's going to be 5 1 8 4 it's really really simple is it clear with everyone just concentrate concentrate and listen this carefully simple procedure let us look at 67 square 67 square okay just 6 square 6 square 36 write 36 next 7 square 7 square will be 49 so write 49 next 6 into 7 6 into 7 42 42 into 2 42 into 2 84 leave units place and write 84 now just add the numbers now this is 9 4 plus 4 8 6 plus 8 14 write 4 and 1 carry 1 plus 3 4 this will be 4 4 8 9 okay let's look at one more example these are like really simple for all these we'll be following the same procedure okay just you need to listen carefully let us example 78 square 78 square now square 7 square 7 square will be 49 next 8 square 8 square will be 64 next multiply 7 into 8 7 into 8 will be 56 56 into 2 56 into 2 will be 112 leave units place and write 112 now add the numbers this is 4 6 plus 2 8 9 plus 1 10 so write 0 and 1 carry 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 1 6 now this will be 6084 okay this is how you'll be following for all the numbers okay let us look at one more example let us example if it is 86 square 86 square okay same procedure 86 square 8 square 8 square will be 64 6 square 6 square will be 36 next multiply the numbers 8 into 6 48 48 into 2 96 leave units place and write 96 okay now add the numbers 6 3 plus 6 9 9 plus 4 13 1 carry and this will be 3 6 plus 1 7 so this will be 7 3 9 6 now just follow the same procedure for all the numbers from 1 to 100 for all the numbers from 1 to 100 if you're going to solve them in this way you can calculate them in just a fraction of two seconds of time but you need to practice more and more and more as I have told you, we can solve them with two different methods. So what you will be doing is like the same procedure that is like calculate the same 86 square with one more method. It's like even it's like simple as well. 86 square. One more method. Now what you will do is like 86 square. Let us look 86 square. 
Now what you will do is like write this as 86 plus 4, 86 minus 4. Now 86 plus 4 will be 90. 86 minus 4, this will be 82. Now just multiply these numbers. So 90 into 82. And square of the number whatever you are doing plus and minus. Square of the number what you are doing plus and minus. 4 square. 4 square will be 16. Right? Fine. Now what we have done is multiplying 86 into 86 is going to be complicated. So it is the reason what we are trying to do means we are converting the double digit number into a single digit number. Why? Because 90 into something or 9 into something both will be like same. So we are converting double digit number into a single digit number. That is like simple thing. Actually we are asked to find a square. Now a square what I have done I have written it in this way that is a plus d into a minus d plus d square. Now if you look at this what happened this will be a plus d into a minus d is a square minus d square a square minus d square plus d square. Now d square d square gets cancelled finally you are left out with a square. So the same technique we are trying to apply here okay. Now what we are doing is like we are converting double digit numbers into a single digit number so that our multiplication is going to become really really simple and this technique is like, is like really wonderful technique which is applicable for all the numbers just we are trying to make the calculation simple okay. Now now look here actually it is like 90 but 90 I need to change it as 9. If I need to change it as 9 what you will simply do is like divide it by 10. Once you divide by 10 what happens is like it is going to change to 9. When you are dividing by 10, what you need to do is like, you need to write only one digit and the next digit is going to be carry forward. But if you are dividing by 100, then you can write both the digits, okay. If you are dividing by 10, you need to write only one digit and the next digit will be carry forward. But if it is divided by 100, you can write both the digits at a time, okay. Now multiply, 9 into 82, 9 2 times 18, so 1 carry and this will be 8. Next, 9 8 times 72, 72 plus 1, 72 plus 1, this will be 73 and next you have 16 so write 16 now this will be I already told you one is going to be carry now this will be 7 3 9 6 which is same as answer whatever we got earlier so the same technique that is a square will be written as a plus d into a minus d plus d square the same technique will be using for numbers from 100 to 1000 so this is like an universal technique which is applicable for all the numbers so now we'll be applying this technique for three digit numbers as well well. and calculating three digit number square is also really really simple let us look at some more examples so that you'll be getting better idea on this i'll be discussing you five examples and you practice more number of examples so that you'll be getting a clear idea on this okay the technique is like really simple what we are trying to do is like we are comfortable while multiplying with a single digit so we are converting a double digit number or a triple digit number into a single digit number so that our calculation is going to be simple okay fine now it is like 109 whole square 109 whole square what you will do is like you will take it as 109 plus 9, 109 minus 9. When it is like 109 minus 9, it is going to be 100. So it is going to be 100 into 109 plus 9 it is going to be 118 118 and next square of the number whatever you are taking it is plus minus now it is like plus 9 minus 9 so square 9 9 square will be 81 okay now as it is 100 you can divide it by 100 when you are dividing by 100 you can write both the digits why because I already told you when you are dividing by 10 you are supposed to write only one digit but if it is dividing by 100 you can write both the digits okay now what happened zeros and zeros gets cancelled now one into 118 it is going to be 118 and it is going to be 81 now there is no carry you can write the numbers directly so answer will be 11881 which means 109 square will be 11881 it's really simple yes right or no is it clear with everyone same technique it's applicable for all the numbers okay 212 whole square now how i will write 212 whole square 212 whole square it will be plus 12 minus 12 plus 12 minus 12 212 minus 12 it is 200 so it is going to be 200 into 212 plus 12 it will be 224 224 next square of the number whatever you're doing plus minus now it will be 12 square 12 square will be 144 yes now it is like 100 so you are going to divide by 100 when you are dividing it by 100 you are supposed to write only two digits right the next digit is going to be carry forward okay now multiply 2 into 4 
8 2 into 2 4 2 into 2 4 now it is going to be 144 now this is going to be carry now when you add this one this will be double four nine double four which means 12 whole square will be double four nine double four it's really simple what however the number is like bigger it's simple you will be converting them into a, a single digit numbers once you convert them into single digit numbers you can calculate them in a easiest way okay let us look at one more example 378 whole square so 378 whole square i will read it as plus 22 minus 22 so when you write it as plus 22 minus 22 378 plus 22 it is 400 so it is going to be 400 into 378 minus 22 it is going to be 356 right now 22 square 22 square will be 484 yes now as it is 400 you need to divide by 100 when you divide by 100 two zeros gets cancelled as you are dividing by 100 you are supposed to write two digit and the next digit is going to be carry forward okay now 4 into 6 24 2 carry and you will write it as 4 4 into 5 20 plus 2 22 so 2 carry and this will be 2 4 into 3 12 12 plus 2 it is going to be 14 now it is going to be 484 now this 4 is going to carry when you add this it will be 1 4 two eight eight four which means 378 whole square will be one four two eight eight four okay simple thing simple thing just concentrate here okay let's look at one more example 986 whole square now calculating 986 whole square even it is much simple okay for the same technique same technique you follow now what you will do is like you will write it as plus 14 minus 14 plus 14 minus 14 now 986 plus 14 it is going to be 1000 so it is going to be 1000 into 986 minus 14 986 minus 14 it is going to be 972 right now 14 square 14 square 14 square will be 196 now as it is 1000 what happens is like you can divide it by 1000 so now three zeros gets cancelled as your three gets cancelled which means you are dividing it by thousand as you're dividing by thousand now you can write all the three digits why because when it is dividing by 10 you're supposed to write only one digit if you are dividing by 100 you can write two digits but now you are dividing by 1000 you will write all the three digits okay now if you write it it will be 972196 which means 986 whole square will be 972196 okay it's really simple let us look at 447 whole square okay now it's like quite different look at this carefully now if you look here 447 whole square if i write it as plus 47 minus 47 now calculation is going to be complicated why because if it is like plus 47 minus 47 i need to know what is 47 square first yes so it is going to be complicated so what i will do is like i will not take it as plus 47 minus 47 i will take it as plus 3 minus 3 so that i will become closer to 450 okay now look here i will write it as plus 3 and minus 3 447 plus 3 447 plus 3 it is going to be 450 into 447 minus 3 it is going to be 444 3 square 3 square is going to be 9 it's like 0 9 why because always we are supposed to write two digits okay now if you look here if i divide by 10 what happen i can write only one digit if i divide by 100 i can write both the digits so what i will do is like i will divide by 100 as i am dividing by 100 i will write both the digits okay there is no carry here now if i divide by 100 what happen is like it is going to change it as 4.5 right 4.5 now this is going to be in this way 4.5 into 44409 now 4.5 you can say it as 4.5 is 9 by 2 right yes now 2 cancel here 2 goes here how many times 2 goes here triple 2 times now do multiplication 9 into 2 18 1 carry and this will be 8 next 9 into 2 18 18 plus 1 19 1 carry and this will be 9 next 9 into 2 18 18 plus 1 19 so this is 19 and you have 0 9 okay now you can combine both of them and you can say it will be 1 9 9 8 0 9 which means 447 whole square will be 199809 okay these are like simple calculations the only thing you need to do is like you need to practice more and more and more when you practice more and more and more then what happens is like you can calculate square of any number faster as what we have done the thing is like practice more 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 and you can practice more and more then it is going to be really faster okay 
Hope you have enjoyed this session. If you think that this session is helpful for you and if you need more of such interesting and smart logics, then please subscribe to our channel and try to share this video with as many friends as possible and your family members as well. And if you have really enjoyed this session, give me a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. Thank you. Have a nice day. Meet in the next session. Bye-bye.